All right, people, right back at it again. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of wrong going on in this world, and, and a lot of us, we know it. We know it for the simple fact that if you look around yourself, it don't matter where you at. If you just look around, there's always something wrong going on. Yes, we know this. Yes. We don't live in a perfect world. But if you watch your surroundings around you, you will see and you will understand. We are very far off, even in our own community. We know the enemy, but we shouldn't be the enemy to ourselves. If all we have is each other, we against all odds. We against a complete world system. If you're not thinking about or trying to unify with your own people, then evidently you must be a Judas because you're just an enemy to all. They don't want you. The others ain't going to help you. And if you're messing over your own, then you just got revoked. What are you going to do? Hang yourself? Let's be for real with it. It's a lot of wrong going on out here, but you don't have to be a part of it. You can see people doing wrong. Don't mean you have to be a part of it. Stop doing wrong. Stop being wrong. Stop agreeing with all this wrongness that's going on out here. I mean, come on, people. I'm a man. When I see you, I see a man. I would never call you a goat. If you look at the satanic statue, it got a goat head on it. All that there is satanic talk. We all speak English, but even English can be a different language because look at the terms that a lot of people use. Now see, when Y2K came in, I don't know if you recognize it or not, but it was the march in of the new age. And new age, if you know it or not, it's a religion. It is. It's just another religion, another falsehood. And from there, that's when you have all these people talking about self. That's all it is. It's about self. It gets you to not recognize the spirit. You have a vibe. It has you not to recognize the creator because it's all about self. Think of your new age religion right there. And if you hear people talking, they don't have to be new age, but look at the doctrine that they speak. People doing yoga nowadays have to be peace with yourself. How can you be at peace with yourself if you don't even know self? Understand me? You have a nice vibe to you because that person has a nice spirit with them. The vibe it's just another terminology that they use. And as we get older, look back when you was younger and you will see how this world system have led you away from the right way. Everything that the world present you think is good? No, it's not. It's not good by a long shot. Everything this world highlight is wrong because if you actually take the instructions out of the book and look at it. Read it. You will say, okay, well, this say this, but the world is showing that. You have a choice. You have a choice. You have a choice to be for self and do what you want to do, or you can live for the creator the way he gave it to us to live. And you can win your soul. That's what the whole game is about. You think we live today, pass on through, and we only gonna live one time? Nah. Where well, you gonna end up determines on what you do in this life. How can you actually be in the spirit if you can't overcome the flesh? If you weak to the flesh, then come on now. The world to come, when all of this is over with, do you think wicked people gonna be in the kingdom? 
Nah. If you ever read it, if people here don't trust you, do you think anybody in the kingdom going to trust you? Nah, because you can't be trusted in this world. You ain't even getting in the gate. Be real with yourself. You're not. How you live in this world determines on where you go. And not only how you live in this world, who do you serve? Because there are certain rules to everything. In this world, you can listen to the devil if you want to. We all know where we at. We didn't ask to come. We was forced. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violence was taken by force. We ended up over here and everywhere else. UK, islands, throughout the world. The world never seen a scattering like that since. But everywhere where we are, we against the odds. And if you can't see this, and a lot of you know this, unify, unify, unify. We one people, we not them. They trying to make us like them. And I wish a lot of y'all stop, give it back to them. Give it back to them, let them have it. Did you not know that these people pray and sacrifice things to idols before they put it on the market and sell it. Don't take my word for it. You can go to YouTube. On YouTube, look up the hair industry. They sacrifice that stuff to their temples or whatnot, package that hair up, put it out there on the market. So you're buying a curse. And you buying it. You're putting a curse on your crown, defiling your temple. And then you wonder what's wrong with you. All of that is a curse. If you look on YouTube, you can look up the Mandela effect. Look it up. Where things were one way, but they changed it now. Like we're not gonna recognize it. It's so many things they have changed. People going along with the program, not paying attention, not seeing. But truthfully, a lot of people do see it. They just don't care. They go along with the program. Don't be that way. Don't do don't it. Don't be wrong. Be right. Take a stand. If you know something is wrong, don't go for it. If you know it ain't right and it ain't sitting right with your spirit, take a stand. Because if you don't take a stand, you'll fall for anything and you will fall and you will be wrong. And believe me, the ones that are taking a stand don't have a problem with stepping on you. Really don't. This is a war. If you like it or not, we live it every day. Sun up to sun down. Every choice that we make, everything that we do, it's a war. And that war is for your soul. So every decision that you make, make it righteous. Every choice that you make, make it righteous. And see how much better your life will be. Sometimes that righteous choice, you may not have everything, but you have what you need. And that's the important thing that all you need. Long as you have your need, you good to go. Because a lot of your wants ain't good for you no way. Think about it. All you gotta do is think about it. A lot of people stress because they don't have this, they don't have that, but they have everything they need. They just not satisfied. Don't be complicated to yourself. Keep everything nice and smooth, straight and narrow, and you will be at peace. And once you learn how to do that and stop worrying about what's out here in this here world, you'll be better off. You will be better off. So today, I'm telling all, when you recognize that foolishness, when you recognize that they think that you're stupid, dumb, lost, ignorant, don't know nothing, take a stand, take a stand. Sometimes you're supposed to open up your mouth and let, let it be known. known.